The e-invoicing obligation will apply starting in 2025. This means that from January 1st, 2025, e-invoicing will be introduced step by step. An e-invoice is not simply an electronic format like a PDF, but a precisely defined invoicing format. This means that in the future, we will not only be required to state what we write on an invoice, but also specify the file format it should have. I have recorded a video on the whole topic linked in the top right corner. Here are the most important pieces of information quickly. This e-invoicing obligation applies to B2B transactions. This means that when a company issues an invoice to another company, it must be done in an e-invoicing format in the future. And this obligation will be introduced step by step. Starting from January 1st, 2025, the obligation to be able to receive such e-invoices will apply. This means that the legal obligation states that starting next year, you will specifically need an email address to receive such invoices. But it may well be that you also indeed receive such invoices and then you must be able to process them as well. Indeed. And honestly, they are not that easy to read as it is an invoice format, an XML file, an X invoice, and you can't read it with the naked eye. That's why you should start engaging with the topic today. You are only required to issue such invoices starting in 2027 or even 2028 if you do not exceed certain revenue thresholds. 2001. That covers the main information regarding the e-invoicing obligation for now. In this context, I have already received an incredible number of comments and questions. One of the most common concerns is that we are now all being forced to use an accounting program. My personal opinion is that invoicing and accounting programs are always a worthwhile investment, as it ensures compliance with GoBD principles. These are the rules of the game for how we do accounting in Germany. I have also recorded an in-depth video on this topic, which I will link in the top right. Excel or Word are not inherently compliant with GoBD, which means GoBD compliance requires understanding. But some time ago, I conducted a survey in the community tab of this channel. And it turned out that most of you are still using Word and Excel. And for basic invoicing, that is generally fine. So does that mean we all have to buy an expensive tool now? Since you've already seen the title of this video, the answer is relatively clear. No, you do not. I would like to introduce you to three ways in which you can create e-invoices for free, both today and in the future. To show you these tools, I will just share my screen with you. The first tool might look a bit wild, and that is PDF. You can find the link to it below in the video description and PDF is a tool that allows you to do all sorts of things with PDFs. Merging PDFs, redacting them, and generally editing and converting them, and so on. This means you can do all sorts of things with PDFs. You can use this tool in the browser, so under PDF org, or you can download it and work with it on your computer locally. And if we take a look here, we can see all sorts of application examples of what we can do with PDF24. And if we click on all the tools here, we will find a very interesting feature under more such as, here we see the function to create an invoice. When we click on it, we can already see the option to create a PDF invoice. In the future, a PDF invoice will not be considered an e-invoice. Of course, it is a digital format, but it is not the legally required electronic format. And we see the creation of electronic invoices. And we can already see here, when we hover the mouse over it, I can actually create an X invoice or a Zugford invoice. And I can click on it, and then I see the interface. Honestly, this won't win any design awards, but it is very focused on functionality. On the left side, we can also see the structure. So we can see what we can do here. We can provide information about the invoice issuer, that is you, about the invoice recipient, that is the customer, the invoice details, the payment information, the line items, the taxes, the total amount, and finally create the invoice. Let's take a look. Invoice issuer, address, contact, and everything possible about the invoice recipient. Then you can write here what you are actually issuing your invoice for. So what are you actually writing your invoice for? Your payment details, the invoice item, the total amount, that is the invoice amount, such as. And then we can also attach files such as your time tracking, project description, travel expense report, and so on. You can save each individual section and then upload it again. This means that, for example, once you have entered your information here, you can download the entire thing, save it on your device, 
and the next time you write an invoice, you can upload it again. This way, you save a little bit of time so that you don't have to look up your VATI identification number every time. You can also do this with complete invoices. So you can export invoices down here, have your template ready, and the next time you write an invoice, you simply import everything again and only need to change the items that have changed, such as the invoice recipient or the service and product you are billing to the same customer, which you can then adjust here relatively quickly. And down here, you can then choose which format you want to use, either Zugfeld or Ex-Invoice. These are the two invoice formats that you will be allowed to use in the future. My recommendation is always the draft invoice because the draft invoice can still be read with the naked eye. The X invoice is really just a pure XML file which makes it relatively difficult for your customer to read it if they don't have any software. And since you want to be paid quickly, you should make it as easy as possible for your customer. That's why I recommend simply creating a Zugferd invoice. That means you select the Zugferd invoice and then click here and the Zugferd file will download, allowing you to send it via email. This means that this is truly the cheapest and most efficient way to create electronic invoices. You don't have to register, you don't have a subscription, you actually have nothing at all. For those who are now saying that they would prefer not to have everything in the cloud, no problem at all, you can simply download the entire tool. Personally, I don't have major issues writing my invoice in the cloud, but I know that this is definitely a topic of concern. Then simply download the desktop app from PDF and you will have exactly the same functions in exactly the same view right on your computer, allowing you to easily write your invoices in the future. This is the first tool and I personally find it a fantastic solution for people who occasionally write invoices. That means for part-time self-employment, where you write about five or six invoices a year, it is admittedly not worth buying any accounting software, simply because it is usually not worth it. However, if your company is now a bit larger, you will know that invoicing is not the only task you have as an invoice is embedded within a larger context and other related tasks. Embedded, because for example, a quote comes before it. Embedded for the reason that after you have written an invoice, you also need to check whether it has actually been settled. And all of these are steps that, in the broadest sense, relate to the topic of invoicing, or it all becomes accounting. This means that, in some way, it is part of the topic of accounting. And of course, there are tools that offer e-invoicing in a somewhat broader context, meaning with more features. And that brings us to my second recommendation. And my second recommendation is Why My Office. Why My Office has an invoicing tool. Wiso is a brand that is already very well established. I personally use Wiso Steuer for my tax return, so I can handle income tax returns, VAT returns, and trade tax returns with Wiso Steuer. And generally, the entire company Wiso is indeed quite renowned, to put it that way. This means that one can trust that the data is secure, that everything is compliant with the law, and that all tax regulations are being adhered to. The invoicing module of Vice Women Bureau can also be booked separately as an additional option. And it's not just that you can book the invoicing function separately. If you really only want to issue e-invoices, then the whole thing is also free of charge. We will take a brief look at the whole thing, up to the price overview for why my office invoices. The smallest package is completely free, and with it I can create e-invoices and read e-invoices. And with that, I have also solved the problem that I might receive X invoices that I cannot read at all. I can definitely solve this problem with why my office uses the invoicing module and I won't have to pay for it. And when we have logged in, it looks like this. This means that at first glance, we have an overview of what we have invoiced, how many of the invoices are still outstanding and so on. And here in the top right, we see the button to create invoices. Let's click on it and we notice that it looks a bit nicer, to be honest, than PDF 24. Here we can create customers, then we select customers here, and then I can enter the invoice number, customer number, invoice date, all the details that need to be included on an invoice, and then we can simply write down below what this invoice is for. For example, a seminar on the topic of e-invoicing costs $1,500 per day with me. And then the tax is calculated here. I could also change the tax rate here if it were different. And I can also write 
I can also write booking accounts in here. This brings us a bit into the area that an invoice is, of course, always part of accounting. Therefore, the revenue account is naturally very important under certain circumstances. Here, I have the options to select the revenue account so that everything can later be handed over to the tax advisor, for example. But for now, let's just take a look at the free function. Here on the right side, I see a preview of my invoice and once I have entered everything that I am legally required to include, as well as everything I want to add, I can simply download it here, also as an e-invoice, and then I can send it normally via email. In my opinion, my office looks significantly nicer than a PDF. But it is now, of course, a tool that is embedded with more functions. This means that if my self-employment grows slightly, and if I honestly and definitely want more features or expect to grow in the near future with my self-employment, then I might need these additional features and I can simply upgrade the package I have booked. But I can also simply use the free version permanently and create and read my e-invoice with it. No problem at all. And that brings us to my third recommendation, which is accountability. As a self-employed person, you not only have to write your invoices, receive your invoices, pay your invoices, monitor deadlines and handle all that stuff, but you also have a whole range of additional tax obligations. You need to prepare a profit and loss statement, or you need to file your income tax return. You may also need to submit a value-added tax return, and possibly a trade tax return. This means that an invoice is, I would say, part of the overall package of tax returns, accounting, and so on. And there are an incredible variety and number of tools for that. And with most of the tools, you need several. So you have a tool for invoicing, for ongoing accounting, for your annual financial statements, i.e. income surplus calculation, and then again for the business tax returns and personal tax returns. There are interesting combinations. So why my office and why taxes? This combination would be an option for you as a self-employed individual. And in my opinion, is quite recommendable. However, there is a tool that does a great job of bringing everything together in one solution, essentially an app for everything, from invoicing to banking to tax declarations, all in one tool that is really well organized and that is accountable. And also accountable recently made an announcement and we can already see this announcement on the pricing page. As you can see here, there is a free package and this free package additionally comprises e-invoices. This means that with Accountable, you can start and easily write e-invoices for free. So if you are just becoming self-employed, don't yet know how much revenue will come in and think thousand, now I have to somehow write e-invoices, but in the future, I will also have to deal with all the other stuff like tax returns and so on. Then take a look at Accountable and we can also explore Accountable together. The interface looks like this, which basically means I have the deadlines here, I can see my statistics here and so on. Now, let's first take a look at the invoicing function. And for that, we will go to revenues. And then we can see here that there are some e-invoicing functions. We can simply click on create invoices here. We see that the whole thing is more intuitive and can also be relatively easily adjusted. Here, for example, I see the color, which I could now adjust somehow to match the channel color. However, I prefer the whole thing to be more subtle. Now I can insert my logo here. I can simply write in my customer. And of course, I can enter my own address and my own details, etc. Just by clicking directly here and simply adding the information, I can add my bank information and I can also easily add the invoice items and notes down here by simply clicking on them and editing directly. I find the way of issuing invoices to be very, very intuitive. And when you are done with your invoicing, you simply click on continue and you have the option to download and send the e-invoice directly here. Everything is free here at Accountable. So let's move on to my conclusion. These are now three examples. I strongly assume that many software solutions will either offer this e-invoicing functionality for free or include it in the existing packages. For example, Lexware Office and Sevdesk have both already announced that the e-invoicing function will be available as part of the regular packages at no additional cost. And I honestly assume that this is in fact true simply because otherwise they would lose customers. There are already sufficient providers today that allow you to easily and efficiently create your e-invoice for free. 
which is why there is not much room for software companies to demand high additional fees. This means that the concern that we are all being pushed into paid software solutions is completely unfounded. In an emergency, if you are happy with Word and Excel, then you can simply do everything in the future with PDF24. It runs on your computer, it runs without registration, without cloud services, and to be honest, you don't have that much to do in the whole transition of your accounting. If you have any questions about e-invoicing, leave a comment below. And if you want to try out one of the solutions now, or if you are looking for a more professional accounting program as your self-employment grows, or if you need a bank account or a tax advisor to handle all the accounting and the VAT advance return, etc. Done for you? So take a look at the video description below. I have linked all my recommendations there. I'm happy to link it to you again here. So now you could just watch another video on this channel for a change. We have uploaded hundreds of videos on the topics of taxes, accounting and finance for freelancers. Check if you have subscribed to the channel. It's worth it because you'll be updated on the e-invoicing obligation.